In today's video, guys, Trump is doubling down on crypto and I will show you why Bitcoin is going to go to 71K. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this Bitcoin video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. Guys, for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, the Bitcoin original t-shirt also available now in the store. In today's video, talking about the news. Yes, President Trump doubling up into crypto, guys. Also answering the question of one of the followers. A very interesting question. Talking about the charts, I have about five amazing Bitcoin charts, a crypto tip, of course, also an inspirational quote. A very cool video on this beautiful Monday morning i wish you an amazing monday an amazing week but it starts all with watching this complete video from the beginning till the end no it starts with giving this video a thumbs up right now let's jump into the news the first news of today's guys is that president trump doubled down on crypto during a uh, race event where he was raising i think he raised 12 million us dollar at an event he announced guys I will be referred to in the future as the crypto president. I will be the president of crypto. I will be the one that makes Bitcoin great again in America. I will make sure that the United States of America will be the number one country when it comes to cryptocurrency adoption, to Bitcoin, to all of this industry. He wants the United States to be the leading country again when it comes to this technology. Now, of course, we all know that presidents during the elections shout a lot of things but we never know if they are really true it's also like i grew up in the netherlands you know the, the the election time they were all promising a lot of things we promised that we do this and we promised that we do that and then they, when they were elected they would never do what they promised so that's why the netherlands is like a fake democracy in the netherlands we don't have a democracy we pretend to have a democracy and a liberal country which is currently not true guys it's just not true it's just really fake 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 you, you can choose and you can vote whatever you want in the Netherlands, but all the voting doesn't count at the end because they will do whatever they want to do. Now, I don't know for sure if it's the same in the United States, yes or no, but I know for sure that, of course, also presidents will promise a lot of things that they maybe can't do. But one thing I know for sure, if I need to choose between two presidents, two older presidents, and I need to choose between one that says, hey, grab him by the pussy, or the other one that is a pussy, I would always choose for the one that says, grab him by the pussy. And it's not offending women of us, I just like that kind of humor. And as guys, if we are in the locker room and all the stuff, we talk like that. You know, and this guy talked like that like eight years before he was elected, so that is like eight years before, eight years ago, so that's a very long time ago. People make mistakes. But choosing for someone that is supporting war, and that is supporting lockdowns, and that is supporting all those things that you need to wear in front of your face, and supporting with all the stuff that you need to put into your body or supporting someone that is like really fighting for their own country people for white for black for any other race but really not giving a fuck about the rest of the world and making sure there is no war i would always choose for the president that chooses no war i don't want this war if i would have been an american citizen i probably would have voted for trump just because i believe that what he says about bitcoin and crypto he will be the next crypto president now, let's jump into the next part. Another big thing for the day, guys, is that Bible is reopening the registrations for Chinese people living outside of China. All up to now, Chinese people couldn't register on Bybit anymore because China was a little bit against crypto and Bitcoin. But now that China announced, hey, maybe we'll start to use Bitcoin and crypto and mining and all that stuff again. Now Bybit is also opening again the registrations for Chinese people that are not living in China. So that's a shitload of Chinese people that live all over the world that don't live in China, but they do have a Chinese passport. They can all start to subscribe now to Bybit again which also means that it will lead to a lot of inflow into the market again. Because from the moment that Chinese people again will get access to Bitcoin, to other cryptocurrencies, they will start to buy again. So in China, they already get access now because of the new laws. They will be able to trade and hold Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now also out of China, yes, Chinese people can start to use Bybit, for example. If you are Chinese and living outside of China, use my link down below this video to sign up to Bybit and you can claim a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar, guys. And at the moment, there is a competition where you can win up to 100,000 
thousand US dollar as well. And if you don't want to sign up to Bybit, then do use the link to Blowfin because if you sign up to Blowfin, at the moment you can win the Apple Vision Pro, you can win the Rolex, you can win a MacBook, you can win a lot of prizes, and you get a 10% deposit bonus at Blowfin at the moment. Very good exchange where there's no KYC. Bybit, Blowfin or Apex Pro if you want to trade completely decentralized. But that's very big news that Bybit again is opening the doors for Chinese people that are not living in China. But in China, Chinese people are allowed to start trading as well. So there's a lot of liquidity in China, which at the moment is one of the richest countries of the world, even if it is the richest country of the world. And that money will now start to flow slowly into Bitcoin as well. That with all the spot ETFs all over the world, that with all the retail investors that still need to go in, because I can still see that my YouTube videos are not being watched a lot. If I compare it to the bull market top of 2021, we should now be at 10 to 20K views, which we aren't. So yes, there is still a lot of progress to be made. And yes, that fly is irritating me on my arms. Now let's quickly jump into the charts, how this all can influence the Bitcoin chart. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. There was a buy signal, but we didn't see a candle closing above the yellow stepping line. So there is no valid trade yet. The blue line did cross the white line and we are seeing a decline in the yellow and bluish and the start of the greenish area. But we need to have a candle closing on this four hour chart above the line for our trade. It could take us all the way back to 71K. But on the four hour chart, the trade is just not showing. If you zoom in to the 15 minute chart, yes, there were trades and I took a trade, but we'll talk about that later. Now, if we zoom out to a daily chart, we can still see we are in that same pattern, you guys. We have that huge, massive inverse head and shoulder pattern with a target of around 90,000 US dollars. We need to break that neckline. At the moment, again, we found resistance here at that neckline and we came down again. We need to break that neckline to make that a valid breakout of that inverse head and shoulder pattern. So that can take a little bit more. And if not, of course, we could also break down again back into this pattern. And then we will find support on this green line first over there, which is 65,845. And of course, the ultimate support is a 200, but that's like very, very rare that we will visit that in this area of the bull market, which now is at 55,000 US dollar, guys. For me, we will probably stay here, go a little bit sideways and still break out to the top. You can see the RSI is resetting. You can see the MACD is resetting, uh, sideways movement, but something is brewing over there. Something is brewing over there. And in my opinion, it will be a huge breakout. Now let's check some other charts. This is the first one. On this chart, guys, we can see also a massive head and shoulder being drawn, like here with the yellow, green, and uh, red, that's the shoulder, a huge shoulder. And then we have a, a, a head, of course, and then we have another shoulder. And that also shows you in a simplified way, we should be breaking out to these levels of 90,000 US dollars. That is the target of these kinds of patterns. This is on the four hour chart, guys. Simplified chart, but just showing you that what we see on the chart at the moment is bullish. Now, if we look at this chart, I found this one on Twitter. Um, I don't see the name of who posted it, but it was a really cool chart because I could say, yes, in August over there, we had 60 days of reaccumulation. That is August 2023. And after those 60 days of reaccumulation, that's two months, we went 100 days up before a dip, again 100 days up before that dip, and now again we are in another run of 100 days before a dip. If we would continue this trend line, we would reach 95k to 100k on top over there, and again in August have that dip to 83k and go sideways for 60 days. Bitcoin often repeats these kind of patterns. August 2003, 60 days of regulation, it's summer holidays, and then bam, go up, bam, go up, and now again, one more move, bam, go up, before that reaccumulation starts, and then after August, again, September, October, November, December, bam, go up to another new all-time high. Beautiful to see how these fractals often play out. If we want to simplify everything in this four-year cycle, guys, it's very simple. We have yearly candles. We have three green candles. Then we have one red candle, 12 months bear market. Then we have a sideways year mostly. And then we have two bullish years. Then 12 months bear market. Then again, a sideways years, two massive bullish years. Then again, 12 month bear market. Now again, we had a bullish year. We should have had a little bit more sideways. Now this is the second bullish year. And there should be a third bullish year. Just check it again. Three green, 
one red, three green, one red, three green, one red, one, two green, the third green is 2025. That will bring us to the ultimate bull market top in 2025. Pause the video if you want to see all the yearly results here in the bottom and you can see how many results you would have been making in all those bull markets and you would also have been losing in the bear markets. 60% in this bear market, 73% in that bear market, 64% in this bear market. And in the next bear market in 2026, it will again be like a 50 to 60% loss. So make sure you are out in 2025. Very simplified. This is what we see here, bull market top. When we broke that top, we went to the next top. Made the 2027 bull market top 20K. When we broke that top, we went to the next one. That new top of 70K, when we broke that top over there, we will now go to the next top. Very simplified chart, but just showing you how simple it is. You should be accumulating around these levels. And it is even more simple to see on this Bitcoin cycle bottom to cycle top. The cycle bottom, guys, was on the left corner over there around 16,000 US dollars. Now these two other lines are added on the chart as well. This is the 2018-2021 is that bluish one and we have the red one that's the 2017 top so this is the double top in 2021 this is the 2017 top of course this is just the growth this is not the level we were at that moment this is the growth line of those two bull markets from the cycle bottom to the cycle top we had a bottom at 16k we are now exactly there where the white line stops this is just at the same level as those other two lines were at that moment in, for example, June or July of that year. Now from that moment, June of July of that year, if we're gonna look now to the next June or July, that was over there. Both of these bull markets in 12 month time, we almost doubled that price. And after that, we still one time created a blow of top and one time a distribution top. So from that moment, June of July, it took another couple of months, all the way till December 2025 now, to create that ultimate top. That's why I've been saying to you guys, this is nice, we are in a bull market, but the top will be somewhere between September and December 2025. So there is a lot of progress to be made by Bitcoin. If we would do the same as 2021, we would end up around 250k. If we would do the same as we did in 2017, we would end up at $2 million per Bitcoin. If we would perform a little bit less than those two, we would still end up around, for example, here at $127,000, US dollar, which is an amazing target, or $150,000, US dollar, which is also an amazing target. Know that the thing that we know is that from this moment in the bull market, we will at least go up to what's at $100,000, US dollar. That's a 30% profit in the next 12 to 18 months. What more do you want? And on this chart, we can see it perfectly drawn from the halving's point of view. On the left side, this is every time when the halving happened. That purple line is a 2012 halving, and look what happened with the price after that. We shot up, bam, to that level. Now we have the light blue one, that's a 2021, and the green one is a 2071 or 2016 halving, I mean, but 2017 top. Every time from that halving, we can see one thing only, the price shooting up. Now, what do you think that will happen now with that black line that is now the current price after that halving? Look how beautiful you can just see it over here. 50 days after the halving, sideways. Even to up to 100 days after the halving, that's three months after the halving, that blue and that green line still went sideways. Yes, that purple line already was up. It took for that blue and green line over there almost 150 days, that's five months after the halving, before we saw that massive run. So it can take all the way to up 150 days after the halving for that black line to start running really massively hard. The halving was in April, and what is five months after April? September, October-ish exactly the timing when it will start running because it always runs from September till December and then another time bam to that next stop in 2025. Very simple to read chart. If you would do the same as 2012 bam 
six million per Bitcoin if we would do that run. If we would do the same run like 2016, bam, around two million. If we would do the same run as 2020, we would reach 400,000 US dollar. If we would do a little bit less well, we can still easily reach 100 to 200 US dollar levels. Please understand these charts. I hope you really enjoy those charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful trading setup again. I told you in the weekend, at least, I told all my VIPs, hey guys, we had this huge dip. And then, of course, there was a CME gap created. And I believe that we would go to that CME gap again. So I told my VIPs on Saturday, guys, I'm going to trade, man. I'm going to take this dip. I'm going to buy around 69,100 or 200 US dollar because I believe you could easily go back to the CME gap, which was around 69. 9,500 dollar and maybe then we always speak above it so i took that trade you can see over there i took some profit of course because we are now again at that cme gap where we are always so that is always a trading possibility to trade to the cme gap what is the cme gap the cme gap is when the chicago mercantile exchange closes the doors on friday that's the closing price of bitcoin when they reopen at Sunday night, that price needs to be around that same level for those suits to start trading again and don't have too many difficulties in trading and differences in their books. So what happens if we close on Friday and the price falls, mostly we will trend back to that closing price of Friday on Sunday evening. And that is exactly what happened and that's why I took some profit. But in the long term, guys, zoom out. Look at that bigger picture of Bitcoin. We are just past that halving. We are now exactly in the sideways movement that can take a couple of months before we break out and start to trend to that next level of 80K. And of course, go sideways maybe a little bit there and then trend to 100K and go sideways or even pull back again to 90K. And then in 2025, we will build up to that ultimate bull market top somewhere between September and December 2025 if we do what we have always been doing. 17 to 18 months after the halving creating a new bull market top now let's jump into the crypto tip the crypto tip for the day guys you already had a crypto tip about the cme gap now the second crypto tip for today is always keep your eyes on the liquidation heat maps for example at the moment we know that if the bitcoin price will go to 71,000 us dollar 1.3 billion dollar worth of liquidations will happen in bitcoin 1.3 billion us dollar that also happened when we just visit 68 point like two ish dollar that is exactly when a shitload of people were liquidated we will always visit these liquidation levels i told you last week already that if we didn't visit 71 ha, ah, we would visit 68.2 because that was a lot of liquidations on the heat map what did we do we exactly visited that now the biggest amount of liquidations, as you can see on this chart over here, is around 71,000 US dollar. We will visit that 71,000 US dollar and we will again liquidate a lot of people in that market. So that's all the people that went short on Bitcoin around that 71k level that saw Bitcoin going down and down. So those people are still in the shores, probably not took profit yet. And if we go long now, if you go above 71k, they will be liquidated. And there's also the other way around. When people go long and then the price reverses short, that's when the long people will be liquidated. So 71k is the next level on the liquidation heat map that we should be visiting. So I will stay in the trade till we visit 71k and then I will take my profits again. And a very good question of one of the subscribers, guys. The question was, Didi, what is the difference between perpetual trading and between inverse perpetual trading? Now, the difference is perpetual trading. Your profit is in UCT, and if you want to have more Bitcoins, you should be buying Bitcoins with that UCT at the end. And inverse perpetual, you trade the Bitcoin pair, which means your profits will be in Bitcoin. You don't need to buy more Bitcoins because your profit is in Bitcoin. That is the biggest difference. You can't trade this on many exchanges. You can trade it on Bybit, not as a Dutch citizen anymore, but you can do it uh, with a solution. You can then just request a Palau uh, ID, which you can see the link of down below. If you click the link, it will take you five minutes. You have a Palau ID. It will take you two weeks, three weeks at the moment to get the physical card. Then you can do everything again on Bybit that you're used to. Also the inverse perpetual. Why? Because in the bear market, I will trade the perpetual trades. I will try to get more USDT in the bear market. Because on the bear market, those 12 months bear market, I want to accumulate as much as possible USDT to buy as much as possible Bitcoin at the bear market bottom. So that is when I trade to USDT. In the bull market, 
I only want to trade two more Bitcoin. That's when I trade inverse perpetual. Why? Because if in the bull market I trade to USDT, of course I could make a profit, for example, of 10,000 US dollar tether, but when the Bitcoin price at the same time increases as well, I won't be able to buy back a lot of Bitcoin because the Bitcoin price increased more than um, the USDT profit that I make. And that happens in the bull market very often. The Bitcoin jumps 20% and maybe my trade and my profit is only like, like 10K or 10%. So then I won't be able to buy as much as Bitcoin as I would love to buy. So for me, in a bull market, it's very difficult to outperform a bull market with USDT pair trading. That is why I trade inverse perpetual in the bull market. I want to trade more Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin jumps, not only the amount of Bitcoin increased, but also the value of those Bitcoin increased. You know, when you trade USDT and Bitcoin jumps, your profit, your dollars is increasing, but the amount of Bitcoin is not increasing. And also the worth of that Bitcoin that you hold, that part increases, but not the part that you have in USDT profit. So bull market, you trade inverse perpetual, bear market, I trade perpetual. That's how simple it is. And that's just one of the ways of trading, guys. Many other people do trade inverse perpetual as well in the bear market by shorting Bitcoin, etc. I'm just not a guy that wants to short Bitcoin. I prefer to sell around the top, take a little bit of UZT over there, and buy uh, back a shitload of Bitcoins at the bottom with all those UZTs, guys. So that's my answer to your question. The difference between perpetual and inverse perpetual trading. And that is how we arrive at the end of the video, guys, at the inspirational quote. And the inspirational quote for today is a very simple one. Almost everything will start working again when you unplug it for five minutes, including you. It's a very powerful one. Do you remember when your laptop freezes, or your television freezes, you just unplug it, leave it alone five minutes, put it back in. Hey, laptop working again, or your TV working again, or whatever electronics you have. Sometimes you just unplug it for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, your router, your modem, and you put it in again, bam, and it starts working. That unplugging also counts for people. If you're running your hamster wheel full power every day, you're always in stress mode, stress mode, stress mode. You're always running, running, trying to perform better and do better. That's the moment that you should be realizing, hey, I should be unplugging unplug yourself sometimes from that system. And most people just do that when they get a two week break from their boss uh, to go you know, on holiday. You know, Some people go two weeks to Spain, to a campsite or to the Maldives or wherever they go. But that's the moment they unplug. And during that unplug, they reload. But in those two weeks of unplugging, you need to reload for the whole other 50 weeks that you're working. You should turn this around. You should be able to unplug more. And to be able to unplug more, you need to grab life by the balls and control life yourself the way you want to live it. Not the way your boss wants to live it, not the way your family wants to live it, not the way the friends want you to live it, the way you want to live it. And you need to be unplugging yourself more and more and more to be able to get close to that feeling what you really want. It's very simple. Everything in life, when you unplug it, put it in, it will start working again but we always forget to unplug ourselves. And it's very simple. Just take that break, not that you need, that you deserve. You have been working your ass off for many years. You now and then deserve a break. Just tell your boss, I want a three month unpaid relief. You don't need to pay me. And if you want to pay me, you can pay me, but you don't need to pay me. But those three months, I want to take time for myself. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to do things while I'm still young now and I will be back in three months and work my ass off for you again. But those three months you should give me now to be able to unplug myself. I will come back better, recharge, reloaded to work even better for you. But now I need those three months. And most bosses will understand this and most bosses probably will give you the chance. And if they don't give you the chance, there is always the position to say, okay, then I probably need to stop uh, my job for you. Then you will lose me forever. And that is also what a boss doesn't want. He doesn't want to lose you forever because that will take him a lot of time and effort and money to find someone that does the job the same way you have been doing it in a great way for him as well. So mostly they will give you the chance. Go, okay, okay, uh, is it not one month possible? No, 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 I really need those three months to reset, to unplug. You don't need to pay me. I will be back and I will be doing better. And though, during those three months, of course, you can send me an email. And of course, I will help you by mail. I'm not gonna answer calls. I'm not gonna help clients, nothing three months I need to be unplugged from this whole system 
And by those three months, for example, of unplugging, and of course a month of unplugging could also work, but three months is just a little bit more uh, fun. <laughs> and because of unplugging yourself from that system, you will start to work again, way better than ever before. It's a very simple comparison, but it does work. It works with machines, it works with televisions, it works with your iPhone, you need to sometimes just shut it completely off to restart it and then it's working again, and it also works for you. Now, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all the charts? What do you think about all the tips? What do you think about this video? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday. and see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.